Resettling refugees demonstrates our commitment to Canadians and to the world uh, that Canada understands that we can and must do more. Canada might be getting back into its soft power groove. First, what soft power actually means. This guy, Joseph Nye, came up with the idea in the late 1980s. It's essentially the ability of one country to influence others by example instead of with force. Essentially a less hawkish foreign policy approach. Canada has been hailed as a soft power type of nation since as far back as the 1950s when then-PM Lester Pearson helped resolve the Suez Crisis between Egypt and Israel. Yet some believed Canada was starting to stray from this under the nine-year command of former Canadian Conservative Prime Minister Stephen Harper. So make no mistake, by fighting this enemy here you are protecting Canadians at home. Newly elected Liberal PM Justin Trudeau, on the other hand, seems to be reining it back in. Welcome, Welcome to your new home. But soft power has its critics, too. Trudeau is pulling Canada's air power from the fight against ISIS. It was one of the first things he did. While he plans on increasing humanitarian aid and the training of local forces, some have criticized the withdrawal at a time when they say it's needed most to keep ISIS in check. Still, as of a November 10 poll, Trudeau's foreign policy hasn't hurt his popularity. Apparently, soft power is popular in Canada. For now. For Newsy, I'm Jake Godin.